Hi, Amp Fishers. My name is Bill Jodopoulos. I'm the host of the Amp Fish uh, Fishing Vlog Series. Welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel as of yet, get in there and do so. Uh, there are a lot of informative videos for everyone out there who's possibly looking to uh, increase uh, their fishing, fishing knowledge in general on specific uh, species specific or uh, multi-species. Uh, so get in there and um, subscribe and uh, you know these videos will uh, definitely add some value to uh, to you if you're looking to increase your knowledge on fishing. Uh, so this specific video is just a uh, short review on the live target series uh, lures and baits in general. Um, for those of you who are not sure or not aware of live target, um, they're a great company who's actually come up with uh, some really neat looking baits that I'm going to show you here. And these are just a few of the variety that they have out. Um, but what they've been able to do is, um, as you can see, they've got uh, some crazy imaging here and and, and manufacturing done to these baits. Uh, this one, this series here specifically is called the bait ball. And you can see, you know, there's a couple of minnows on that side, on the outside. Um, they've got it built in on the body here and there's one on the inside. That one's called the bait ball and that's a, a square bill. Uh, so a shallow running crank. And here is the deep version to that one. Again, this has three. So you've got, uh, you know, two on the outside of the body and that third one inside that sits in the middle and then another two on this side on the outside of the bait with quite a bit of detail hopefully my camera my gopro is getting that but there's quite a bit of detail on these and then that that third image on the inside and then you've got uh, you know a longer style twitch or jerk bait here again a fish on the outside with some detail one on the inside and then the same thing on that side as well so they're really kind of neat uh, when it comes to how they've made these baits. Here's a lipless crankbait, a kind of a large one as well. And as you can see, this three eyes looks like a small bait ball of fish. Uh, same thing, detail on this. You've got the fins, right? You've got scaling, you've got the fins, you've got gill plates, you've got the eyes. Um, more fins down here. So these baits are, are actually designed, again, it looks like a small little bait ball of fish, a school of fish just kind of darting around. Uh, so they're really, really neat in that respect with how they've been able to design these um, in that little way. And they've done a lot of research on, you know, what fish are reacting to and how they perceive and see things. So if you haven't checked them out, guys, check out Live Target Lures. Uh, these are, again, great baits to use and they're very unique looking. Um, so it's definitely worth checking them out. Uh, they've gone even a step further. Here's a topwater uh, bait they have hollow body these are called the hollow body uh, series sunfish baits but they come in bluegill sunfish crappy styles uh, and this specific one here is just the, the smaller version does one up size to this um, but here's just a smaller version of it again top water a lot of detail as you can see ton of detail uh, nice strong hook on it weight system on the bottom and as you can see, I'm going to hold it this way. There are all the gill plates. So you see all the patterning. You see the real match to this. Um, but as you can see, as, me, as I'm holding it like that, it's kind of got that arch. And that's kind of shaped like a boat. And what that does is when it sits on the surface like this, uh, it actually kind of sits a little bit into the water column. Um, and it mimics a fish that's, you know, either dying and flipping around at the top uh, you know, it got stuck on some lily pads or in some thick cover or it got chased up by a predator fish and it's kind of stuck. So it's kind of a really cool alternative to um, just using a frog bait. Um, you know, the hooks, in my opinion, are placed really, really well in the back. Uh, yeah, I'm getting that on camera, just double checking. So you've got that good little thing is a thin bite area here, which is the tail. So if a fish comes up this way, I mean, you know, this is very... It's a hollow body, so it's very pliable, and those hooks just get exposed very easily. Uh, but I like the fact that it's not a big, bulky butt end to this bait, where fish has to take a lot of it in to try and find the hooks. Is if the fish comes up this way and hits it, it's going to get gaff with those hooks right away. It's a very, very thin little area here where the tail is, where the hooks are located. So they've done that perfectly well as well. Uh, but again, just another cool-looking bait uh, from Live Target. I've had some questions. I've had people actually ask me. Uh, they've seen them tied on while I'm kayaking uh, in the area where they're fishing, uh, you know, or passing by. And some people have asked. So I wanted to do a review on this uh, 
on this company because like I said, their products are really cool, very unique. Uh, they've got a lot of other things coming out. Uh, they've got a new um, swim bait series that they've launched recently. Uh, another great uh, batch of baits there. But if you haven't checked out Live Target, uh, Allures, again, good baits, very durable. Uh, they come with strong hooks, strong O-rings, um, you know, just a very unique, unique bait in general. Uh, and if you're looking for something that is a little bit different, uh, you know, from it, it's a regular shape of a crankbait, but again, they've taken it a step further by making it look like it's a little school of fish, a little bait ball of small fry. They've actually got um, a new series out that has a lot more little fish images, and that's called the yearling. And it's probably maybe, um, I'm going to say, I don't know, anywhere from eight to ten different faces of fish and images of fish painted along all of them on the inside, on the outside as well. Um, and again, this isn't really necessarily painted. This is actually built into the plastic. Hopefully you can see that it's slightly elevated. So this is done very well. These are not cheaply made at all. These are done extremely well. Um, but again, that yearling size and style is, you know, this has two images. Uh, the yearling might have eight different images of small little tiny fish in this bait. Uh, but overall, guys, these are great baits. You know, they, they make their share of, uh, of noise and they get their share of attention. Um, so it's worth, definitely worth checking them out. I mean, the sizes, I'm just going to do a quick measurement here on my ruler shirt. Um, this little uh, shallow, shallow square bill is probably just over two inches uh, from the nose where the O-ring is to the tail end. This is the deep diver, and again, this one is just over that two, two and a half mark, two and a half inches. This, uh, the live target uh, hollow body sunfish bait is again, probably close to that uh, three inch range if I'm going from the tie mark to the back of the tail. So that's about that three inch range. And this again is a longer style crankbait, leaner body, um, you know, can be used as a rip bait or a jerk bait as every, everybody else may know them. But if I go from that O-ring to the tail on my fish shirt here, we're just about that uh, close to the five inch mark, which is a, again, another good size there. And if I go to this lipless crankbait, which is Definitely a larger size lipless crankbait as you can see it compared to uh, you know where my finger is or the size of my finger It's quite large uh, Which is neat And this one if I'm going from the tip of the bait to the tail end we're just over three three and a half inch mark um, So again these are great baits made by a great company. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody or any of that. I just uh, I promote and I like to do reviews on products that I use and I have a lot of success with and I think are made very well and are worth the money. Uh, so definitely if you have not checked out the Live Target um, series of baits and these are just again a few they've got the swim bait ones that are out now uh, get in their website guys check them out uh, you know from the finish to the durability to the actual creativeness and style of these these are really cool baits to uh, to have some of and to try some in as well. When you start looking at stuff like this, um, you know, an alternative to a frog, uh, it's it's awesome. There, are, you know, we've got everything from zero spooks to topwater twitch baits, but when you have something that's completely weedless like this, and you can use it instead of having to always use a frog bait, it's actually really cool because we've all been in scenarios where we've seen dying fish on the surface, kind of, you know, jolting around and 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 you know either dropped by a bird or just injured or you know ready to die. Um, it gives you that great alternative uh, and they've done a really good job on these you know durable durable rubber uh, very strong hooks um, you know the weighting system on the bottom is great and everything so again guys I'm not gonna you know I'm not trying to oversell anything I'm just telling you um, I'm a very passionate fisherman and I love using baits that I have a lot of uh, success with and confidence in and live targets uh, been part of my arsenal on the water for the last few years and I wanted to do a review on a few of their products just to point out that if you haven't checked them out, get in there and check them out. And um, I'll leave the video, I'll close the video off at that. If you haven't, again, subscribed to my YouTube channel, get in there and do so for a lot more informative videos like this. If you've liked this video, feel free to hit the like button. Um, and I will see all of you at uh, my next videos. Thank you.